Don't tell your mother Kiss one another Die for each other We're cool for the summer So, I was happening to fall upon the recent events that happened at Spring Valley High School recently and the whole issue um, concerning the girl that was th that was basically um, how can I put this to try to be objective um, the girl that basically w was the focus of the African American girl that was the focus of the cop um, that uh, was try that was trying to arrest her or basically at least take her out of um, remove her from her classroom. Little background: basically, this girl she you know was being obnoxious, texting on her phone, blah blah blah. You know, typical sixteen year old girl BS. The teacher obviously didn't like that. Tried to tell her get off your phone. She refused. Called the principal. The principal then you know tried to have her you know get her to you know leave the classroom. She refused. The campus police uh, yeah, police officer was called in, and what ended up happening was the girl um, was thrown was basically was taken by. Uh, by her neck, yanked out of her her chair, flown halfway across the classroom, and then drugged by her hair, to the, to the which point the officer then you know man basically managed to get a hold on her. And this, of course, has brought up a whole lot of more a whole lot of issues with police brutality. And you know this is where I start to get biased. Plainly obvious, this was an abuse of power. Of course. Police officers are not trained to deal with these particular situations, and frankly, I think that they need to be, especially if they're going to be placed on campuses. So there's a certain amount of training that should be involved with that. What I really get tired, get sick and tired of, and what I'm absolutely infuriated by is the police apologists that are trying to claim that she was somehow resisting arrest, and. I have looked through the. I have reviewed that video a hundred times. I have tried to look into every source possible to somehow corroborate this claim, and in no way does it seem like this girl has, was trying to resist arrest. In fact, it wasn't even about trying to arrest her so much as it was trying to just remove her from the classroom. And yes, she got suspended and blah blah blah. But. The amount of force that was used by this police officer was not justified. It was completely irrational, and it, you know, the people that try to that always try to claim this BS of, well, you know, she was resisting arrest. You know, cops can't, you know, can't aren't perfect people. Why you got to be so mean to cops? It's like they're just doing their jobs. They're just trying to protect people. They're just trying to, yeah, 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 that sort of BS, and that that somehow we should put ourselves in their shoes. All of this being an appeal to emotion, all being straw man arguments as well. And it just really gets me that people try to justify the behavior of this police officer, who by the way was fired, and justfully so. And yet people see, just don't seem to fucking get it. They're so, especially white fucking, you know, the, these white fucking liberals even and white and white um, uh, and just basically white people in general that this whole idea of white privilege again happens to come up and people like the fucking police lives matter dick wads that are around and stuff like that who are trying to you know somehow vilify um it, they're trying to vilify somehow uh, African Americans, um, or they're trying uh, who are simply just trying to defend themselves and trying to somehow justify the actions of police officers. It that they, they these people just don't fucking get it. You know, the actions of that police officer w was not justified in any way, and trying to even 
to try to even justify his actions and defend his actions just absolutely shows what sort of a dick you are. It shows your comp it, it just shows it, it actually goes to show just how strong the biases of police lives matter and the biases of these you know these individuals are that they don't even it's part of that white colonizer white um, you know privileged and frankly first worldist mentality of where you don't even put where you, instead of putting yourselves in telling us to put ourselves in the to the shoes of police officers how about for once you put your shoe yourself in the shoes of a minority how about you actually you know you know kind of think about you know what it's like for certain individuals to basically live day by day worrying that they're you know about you know and the again being completely law-abiding citizens but worrying that somehow if they end up getting stopped by the cops or so you know some matter yeah but let's just say stopped by the cops in some form that they're going to end up basically in getting beaten half to death if not to death for no legitimate reason you know if we're going to play the appeal to emotion card put yourself in their shoes but you won't because your biases are too strong and you're too much of a fucking idiot to com contemplate that whole idea so and excuse me for going on a bit of an ad hominem attack but let's actually just think about that now that all aside even if somehow this officer's actions were justified you're still basically committing pretty much an assault on a minor the girl was 16 years old and probably weighs up what a hundred a hundred pounds at le at the least 120 pounds at most and this guy is a full grown fucking man probably has at least a hundred pounds on her and you're going to tr basically try to throw her in a chokehold and then fling her and then yank her out of out of her desk you apparently don't know your own fucking strength you know, it's that whole idea, you know, I mean, again, this man flew this girl halfway across the classroom, then grabbed her by her hair and yanked her across the fucking floor. But somehow that's just completely justified, isn't it? A police apologist somehow dragging her by her hair, flinging her halfway across the room. Somehow that was all justified? Please answer me that. Please, please in the comments please tell me how that sort of reaction was necessary and if you fucking give me oh well it had to be it was just an accident I'm gonna give you a royal middle finger right fucking now if you wanna jump to that I'm just saying can we please learn to actually be rational fucking human beings being sensible fucking human beings and actually put ourselves in the thought of uh, in the minds of other people I'll put my minds in my mind into the mind of, in the shoes of the police officer if you will kindly put your mind and yourself in the shoes of the minorities that are constantly being attacked by this white supremacist fucking paramilitary that continues to exist a paramilitary and a criminal justice system so corrupt that there is a reason why certain presidential candidates are looking to criminal justice reform. I'm NorCal Nick, leader of the revolutionist movement, and this has been NorCal Corner. Peace.